guys, a little bit of a review today on this um, Workzone grinder, four and a half inch. It's only Aldi's, a cheapy one. To be honest though, if someone's looking for a cheap um, grinder or sander, I recommend go for one of these. It's only 20 odd quid I think, when I bought it. But tell you what I like about this, it's got variable speed for you. Which a lot of the cheap stuff you won't, you won't get. And some of this works on stuff's all right. Um, yeah, so got variable speed. Uh, quite a big motor in it. Got a nice shape to it. Nice handle there. Eh? The only thing is a bit strange. It's, it's a bit hard to get to. You've got to get used to the, the button. The lock to press it. Eh? Once you're used to that, you're all right. Um, in the box. Comes with a quick release guard. Nice big guard. Um, they might think for the sanding. To the side angle. Um, I think it did come with brushes, but I don't know. They are about to some way. But I said, if just someone looking for a, a cheap little grinder, I really recommend this. I give it a, a bit of a battering. If you look on some of my videos, mostly sanding with it. But what I like with it, because it's got this variable speed, you can control it. Where most stuff you can't. You can feather it. Um, I tell you what I will say, oh, I think this is a voltage drop, so you haven't got full power, all you're doing is shutting the voltage down, when you come down, you can pretty much stop it then, um, which is a good thing, sometimes you've got delicate things to work around, sensitive areas, that's, that's, that's more like an air tool, I'll give you a demonstration of working now, but I, I can't fault it, it's only a cheap, like I said, throwaway item, for the money that they cost, but um, yeah, I just can't fault it. I re it's really like just past what I what I thought it was going to be. Like I'm used to Makita and um, Dewalt and all that. Obviously, I use all them. You know, in my main stuff, one ten volt I like. This is two forty volt, obviously. But um, yeah, it's a little bit of a battering and it's still going going well. So. I'll uh, show you I'm working now. Yeah, so like I said, uh, it's 1200 watt motor. Uh, most of the speed's on there. 3011,000 RPM. Right. Put these on a minute. A bit of demonstration now. Only thing is, they haven't got them that often in. Donalities. But honestly, if you see one down there and you are looking for one, I'd grab it, snap it up. When I see the next one, I'm going to get it. Might even get one or two, like. So, on full speed. Don't do the boat away. Yeah, on full speed, really goes. To be honest, if you watch my videos, I'm never up that fast. Maybe it's down low. If you want to get in somewhere. Can you see what I mean? You can, that's on number three. See, you will stop. Depends how much pressure you put on it then. But I always keep it around three or four. You can't really stop it then. Like I said, if you go down to like two and all that and run, I don't know how good it doing mine straining on stop. Like I said, I don't do that. But it, it can do that. Oh, nice that is you can just control it like. You can go first one, it's very fine then. And sometimes you don't want that to be flat out all the time. That's when you catch into stuff, a kick. So I really like that aspect, I've got to be honest. Um, well there we are. That's just a good cheapy grinder. There's lots of them out there, but with that option there, I think that makes it uh, 
extra special in the cheap range. All right. So that's all. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers.